Alright guys, welcome back. I have now gathered my rosemary and I took it and um, I put it in these large cardboard boxes and I laid it out as a good layer and then I filled up I think like four of these and I put them into my oven because I have a gas um, per oven so there's a pilot light that stays on all the time which keeps it very warm and dry in there but not hot so I kept them in there for a day and I got them dry enough to go ahead and start making smudge sticks with it. Um, I already skipped all the boring parts, um, so I'll just tell you that what I have here, I have some already made, and I have my bundles ready to be made, and then um, all I did was I took the little, this is how rosemary comes, you know, just one little branch like that, sometimes you get a few branches, let me see if I have an example of it. You saw me show a starter piece before, um, but it's very simple, you just take them and start adding them up, and Eventually you get enough up. Oh, that one looks horrible. Um, anyway, so you do that over and over again. And so you get this. And I've got all kinds of sizes here. All shapes and sort. So, um, yeah. I'm going to show you how to turn that into this. So we've got them bunched up. Let's find a good one. That's a good example. This will be a nice one. Okay, so what I did was I bunched it all together and I tied it with a little rubber band right here at the end. And um, I'm going to cut that off after I have uh, wrapped it. That's just to keep it together so that I don't have to worry about holding it right while I wrap it. Um, I'm just going to use a regular hemp, not hemp cord, just uh, a bit on the thin side so that um, it doesn't completely catch fire and then um, burn up because... It wouldn't smell too good if that happened. So you want to keep it thin and you want to be able to keep it together. So you grab it and you start a knot at the bottom. So we're going to do a square knot. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm going to do a square knot. So I'm going to go under once. And you want to get it really tight because when you make smudge sticks, always keep in mind that it's going to shrink as it dries. So what size it is right now is only about... 75% of the size that it's going to be. So you want to wrap it really, really tight and then just let it dry longer so that you get a really good hold on it. So what I'm doing with these tweezers is it can hurt your hands really hard to pull on it like that. So um, I don't know if you can see, I'm grabbing it with the tweezers and then wrapping it around my tweezers like that and pulling so that I can get a really tight knot on there. And then I'm doing a square knot. So if I went over that time, I went under, now I'm going to go over. And that's going to give me a nice square knot that's going to hold. And we're not going to cut this piece off yet because what we're going to do is we're going to go up. My cat's going to go crazy, he always does. This is Satan, by the way. Satan is evil, so we're going to keep it real, real tight. We want to give it structure. Up, 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 up. Keeping it real tight. And then I like to keep my tops nice and frilly like that, kind of. So what I'll do is I'll go around and bring it back down. And when I bring it back down, I'm going to crisscross it over the pieces I just made. Keeping it tight, of course, and then we wrap it down. And then you get to back down to the bottom. One two, three. You want to secure that on there. So three times. Three is a magical number. And then you take the end piece from the first knot and and you uh, under. One more square knot. So we went under. Let me just grab tweezers. Get it nice and tight. And now we went under. So we're going to go over. And then we snip the ends off of that with some good training scissors. Like that. And then we 
we snap off the rubber band because that's not going to smell good if it burns and that's not good for our Mother Earth or us. So we're going to snip that off. We don't want that. It's not actually rubber, it's like this elastic stuff that you use for like doing little girl's hair and such. Okay, well I'll get that off. Um, and one last piece of advice is to shape it up, get it looking pretty good. And then you have rosemary smudge sticks. Pretty simple. That is what I have for you guys today. Um, keep an eye out for more content. I know it's been a while between videos, and I'm keeping making videos. It's just that um, I had my computer crash on me, and then my backup computer crashed. So I lost a lot of footage for you guys, and I lost... Um, a really cool blue blood moon full moon ritual that I did back on January 1st 31st I'm sorry January 31st we had a super full blue black moon blood moon and I lost that ritual so that's not so great but I promise I'll have more for you guys it's just that uh, I'm having to use my phone right now but very soon I will be back in order but even that even then, in the meantime, I will have content for y'all, so stay tuned.